In this lesson, we'll discuss composition cancellation equations. The idea behind this is that if you have the inverse of a function and you make the function a composite of the inverse, you should end up with x. And the same is true if you make the inverse a composite of the actual function. Those two things that I mentioned are defined right here. And the question is asking us to show that f and g are inverse functions using the composition cancellation equations. To prove that they are, let's set f composed of g. And if we simplify the function and it turns out to be x, then they are inverses of each other. But then we also have to prove g composed of f at x. So we'll do that next. Let's start with f composed of g. Okay, so our f function is right there and everywhere we see an x, right here and right here, we have to substitute that with what g is. At the numerator position, we have 3x over 1 minus 2x. And at the bottom, we have 2 times, again, 3x over 1 minus 2x plus 3. This right here is a complex fraction, a fraction within a fraction technically. So it's going to take some time to reduce this as much as possible. First, I'll multiply this 2 into this factor. And then I will combine these two terms. So the numerator hasn't changed. Let me rewrite that. And multiplying this 2 into 3x, we get 6x over 1 minus 2x plus 3. As I mentioned, I will now combine these two. So I need a common denominator. The common denominator will be 1 minus 2x. Let me show my work over here on the side. So 1 minus 2x is the common denominator. I multiply this to 3. We get 3 bracket 1 minus 2x. And pretend that this 3 has a 1. 1 times 6x is 6x plus this expression. So what we have right now is 3x over 1 minus 2x, that top part is written right here, divided by this. I can simplify this one step further by multiplying 3 into the binomial next to it. And I get 6x plus 3 minus 6x. That's actually quite good for us because that's negative 6x and that cancels out with that. So we actually have a simpler fraction underneath. It's 3 over 1 minus 2x. OK, to divide fractions out, we will reciprocate the second fraction and change that to multiplication. So I have 3x bracket 1 minus 2x. And at the bottom, 3 times 1 minus 2x. And just as expected, cancel, cancel, these cancel, we end up with only x. So that's part of the proof. We have to prove that again for g composed of f at x. Now, rather than going through it, I'm just going to let you know that it does, in fact, equal 2x. And that right there shows how two functions can be shown to be inverses of each other using the cancellation, sorry, the composition cancellation equations idea.